This video is on cellular technologies. As a network admin, you will be dependent upon cellular network for numerous things from providing resources to protecting your data. First, we had 1G and 2G. They're pretty much the same thing. The only main difference between 1 and 2 was that transmissions of 1G network were analog while 2G networks were entirely digital. 2G refers to the second gen of mobile networks based on GSM, and its capabilities were achieved by allowing multiple users on a single channel via multiplexing. During 2G, cellular phones were used for data along with voice. GSM or Global System of Mobile Communication is the technology that initially used Time Division Multiple Access TDMA, to provide multi-user access by chopping up the channel into sequential time slices. TDMA, Time Division Multiple Access, is a digital modulation technique used in digital cellular telephone and mobile radio communication. TDMA was replaced in later implementations by CDMA, Code Division Multiple Access, which instead of splitting the channels into time slices, uses different frequencies for each user to provide various means of cell phone coverage. Then we have 3G that used UMTS, Universal Mobile Telecommunication System, as its core network architecture. It combines aspects of 2G network with new technologies and protocols to deliver a significantly faster data rate. It used WCDMA, Wide Band Code Division Multiple Access Technology, which is a third generation standard that employs the Direct Sequence Code Division Multiple Access DSCDMA Channel Access Method and the Frequency Division Multiplexing Method to provide high speed and high capacity service. Then we had 4G. The technology that made 4G possible was Multiple Input Multiple Output and Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing. The most important 4G standards are WiMAX and LTE. It's capable of delivering a very fast and secure internet connection. Then we have 5G. 5G networks operate on rarely used radio millimeter bands in the 3 GHz to 300 GHz range. Using small cells, the deployment of 5G with millimeter wave-based carrier can improve overall coverage area. Combined with beamforming, small cells can deliver extremely fast coverage with low latency. Low latency is the key features of 5G. It uses scalable orthogonal frequency division multiplexing framework and benefits greatly from this and can have latency as low as 1 millisecond with realistic estimates to be around 1 to 10 seconds. 5G is estimated to be 60 to 120 times faster than the average 4G latency.